Hey guys, so it's Janisha and my sweet baby boy Gideon. I am um, getting on here today because I have a few little things I want to get off my chest. Um, my hubby, he is actually out. I should say he's gone to work, but he's an entrepreneur, so he's out um, at his like local office running our real estate business and um, we miss him today but I just wanted to get on here real quick to talk about um, vaccinations so <laughs> I get asked and we as a couple get get asked all the time about um, if we vaccinated our son Gideon he is one he actually just celebrated his first birthday um, July 17th and um, he is a vaccination free baby. Um, a lot of stigma around vaccines. There's a lot of stigma around with the coronavirus um, and then how we move forward as a world, as a country, um, as a people. So I wanted to get on here just to give our perspective um, vac on vaccinations. Wanna hold mommy's pen? Here, look, pen pen. Wanna hold mommy's pen? anything to distract them right <laughs> but i wanted to get on here to kind of share briefly um what we do in our family so everyone knows first off i am a registered nurse i have been a nurse for 10 years i've practiced in all well not all but a lot of um, medical settings and i was going to say with all various types of patients different type of patient comorbidities problems oh. what have you so oh don't poke mommy in the eye now okay <laughs> so um with me being um in the medical world i kind of see both but before um we even had children we started to transition or was very conscious about like do we vaccinate how do we want to live our life do we want to be you know holistic what do we want to do so um, we have chose to pursue um, a holistic lifestyle, even more since having a child. Um, we have transitioned to plant-based. My husband is almost 100% plant-based. Um, he pretty much eats everything plant-based, but he does have, and we all do um, have cheat days sometimes where he may, you know, have a, ve a, a vegetarian meal or a pescatarian meal. But for me, I am, um, and Gideon is 100% um, plant-based. And my husband, you can say he's like 95%. So we definitely um, follow that for our eating patterns. But um, this vaccine thing, so guys, Gideon has never, and he's one, he has never had um, any health problems. He was born um, pretty much two weeks, um, 30, at 38 weeks. Um, he is a 100% vegan baby. He loves um, different foods that we eat and we never vaccinated him one time. The only thing that they gave him when he was born um, is vitamin K, which we agreed to and um they gave him the erythromycin drops in his eyes um but other than that he has not been vaccinated he has not had a um a earache he has not um, been sick up until recently was his first time getting sick we took him to the pediatrician um it was a week and a half ago and literally two days later he had a fever okay go figure right um and the only reason why we took him was because i needed a note for work that um would protect me against having to take care of the covid patients right now since i'm still nursing and having to pump during my shift so otherwise we wouldn't have took him um but they were not wanting to give me the note unless she saw him just because it's been that long guys he would he went to the pediatrician when he was first born for the checkup like they do out here on the west coast um i believe it was dang was it like three days after i had him and then um he went one more time and then after that i don't think we took him again i think we might have took him a total of three times then covid hit but if covid wouldn't have hit we wouldn't have took him um anyway because we believe you know doctors are there we believe in doctors but we believe doctors are there to help us when we need it and not necessarily if we don't need it i think we as a culture in uh, the american society has lost our independence regarding um the ability to think for ourselves because of traditionalism and i think tradition traditionalism and common sense are definitely enemies 
sometimes we would rather believe what other people want us to believe than believe what our body is telling us um and use what god gave us to help um heal us now you may say well you guys don't vaccinate what about you know every everything else in the world you know with me choosing to live a holistic lifestyle my husband i'm still nursing him i am his source i am taking care of my body and myself so that I can make sure that he's taken care of well. And I think sometimes we just have to uh, unclog what we've learned and just kind of unlearn uh, what we have learned before and to, you know, realize our children are watching us. And so it's like some of the generational problems like diabetes, hypertension, the flu, all these different things. Um, sometimes everything isn't hereditary. Some things actually come from what you have put in your body. I know I was vaccinated as a child and thank God I didn't have any uh, side effects of anything. But if you don't know, um, autism mm. and um, things like that, run very very high in the um, african-american community when it comes to little boys i know of parents that have vaccinated their young sons um, especially with the mmr vaccination and this is what people have told me people in person that once they vaccinated their child their child stopped talking their child stopped walking they were staring kind of off in space and weren't their normal playful selves and so after doing research for ourselves doing research for our family Gideon knows how to whistle he just turned one and he knew how to whistle at 10 months he knows how to turn off the light and he hasn't started walking yet but he has taken two steps and I do believe yeah clap clap you know right clap clap you gonna show the people you know how to clap clap He's very cognitively aware. He knows how to put on his clothes. He knows like daily routines that we do. And it's so amazing. Um, at one year old, he's already doing those things. And I've met people just this year that have told me like their young children or young grandchildren is probably two or three and not doing some of the things that um, Gideon is doing. And it all stems from, I'm not gonna say all of it, but I think a lot of issues in children, especially black, little boys um, tend to uh, point right back to uh, a vaccination schedule. And you got to ask yourself, you know, what's your reasoning other than um, believing what someone else is telling you or some of us don't want to keep our own children that we're bringing yeah. into the world or don't have a means by which we can, you know, put them in a daycare or put them in uh, a system that is going to help them outside of, you know, our home. So you feel pressure to vaccinate your child based on having child care or based on them being able to go to school. But let me challenge you and ask you, like, what are you really doing to your child? You know, what are you doing um, to your child seeing you wanting to do this to them? And then it almost causes a sense of trauma within them because I feel like, you know, us as adults, you know, sometimes it's just easier to send them to school or easier to get them out of your hair so you can get stuff done. And I'm not saying anything's wrong with the parents having their time or the parents having, you know, um, someone keep the child. But I never want anyone's um, reasoning to be, oh, it's just because so they can go to school. Like their health, their well-being versus getting them into a traditional system should be thought more about other than you know them being able to be a part of society you know we have pretty much chose to live this life and a lot of people have told us you know you guys are crazy you guys should vaccinate him you know but when we look at just his success rate with how well he's done you know i have to question you know um other people's uh motives other than the government other than the doctors and pediatricians telling you certain things um what's your what's your reasoning you know because your child should never be um almost treated like a, a animal you know and in my mind you can't take your dog to certain veterinarians unless they've been vaccinated yeah. and if you look at it whether you agree with me or not if you look at it that's almost how they have us treat our children you know and so I and my husband have chose not to um, participate in that, to each his own, but I just did want to get on here to share that because I just seen a, um, uh, 
something on TV, Gideon has a, a habit of taking a remote and turning it, but it said with the rise of the coronavirus, you know, flu vaccinations are really going to be pushed um, this year. And so, yeah, I just wanted to get on here just to let parents know, you know, um, based on what we've done, this is what has worked for us. We will not vaccinate it. I no longer take the flu shot and I'm still able to function as a nurse um, because of an allergic reaction that I had to it. And my husband, get in, what you doing? My husband, he no longer takes um, the flu shot. I don't even think he's ever had it. And we've been just fine. So let our story, you know, encourage you. I would love to um, talk more to you guys about it. Um, I want to go deeper in some content, but this is not the video for that. But um, as a young black couple, um, our baby's healthy. He's fine. I was able to get him nursed back to health. Um, I was able to, you know, we did an herbal bath. We did give him, you know, Tylenol um, eventually to bring the fever down and an antibiotic. But it's all minimal treatment because he is a baby. So I did want to get on here just to get you guys' take on vaccine nations and you know i would love for you to share your mind share your opinion don't bash each other because we all have insight and we all have uh, different value systems and we can all learn from each other so i would love to know more um from you guys just please subscribe to our channel it's not gonna always be this heavy but because i am in the medical field we do want to talk about health stuff our life food stuff real estate and just traveling and having fun with you guys so thank you so much for tuning in definitely be sure to like subscribe and comment to uh this video and don't forget to turn on your little notification bells and since we are new at this youtube thing guys Please, please, please have patience with us as I'm trying to learn how to edit. My husband is the, like, master editor, but he's so busy right now with building our real estate business. Um, I definitely don't want to, <laughs> you know, um, uh, keep him, you know, doing videos too. So, right now, this is just raw and uncut. You see, what you see is what you get. So, hopefully, you'll enjoy our content as we continue to share and take you along our journey. Bye!